Noradam Yukanthar. Personal life. Prince Yukanthar was born in 1860. Some sources say he was born in 1858 to either Priya Niang Bra Nan or Tep Soda Chan. He grew up in the royal palace in Phnom Penh as the oldest son of King Noradam, in a country more or less under French rule. A treaty signed 1863 between King Noradam and the French Admiral de la Grandière made Cambodia its protectorate. Noradam claimed that the French Admiral de la Grandière had forced him into signing the treaty. In 1872, Eucanther was made to cut his hair and become a monk. During 1884 the French started to lack resources to continue their colonization of Cambodia, and through administrative reforms they took control of financing resources like tax and likewise. Eucanther got into a spat with Frenchman Lieutenant Radisson, who was accused of stealing one of Eucanther's concubines, who was sold to the prince by his father who was in a gambling debt. Eucanther, who was critical against the French colonial rule in Cambodia due to the emergence of the new Cambodian middle class that the royal family was afraid would take power from them, sent a long memorandum to the French Prime Minister, campaign of publicity tour and when he visited France in 1900, he met the French journalist Jean Hess. Eucanther was sent by his father, who was still upset about his blackmailing at the 1884 Thompson Convention. On 11th July 1897, the king was also deprived of his gambling profits, and the royal family had an alliance with French anti-imperialist radicals. Eucanther became an influential figure in Parisian society, where he was invited to many parties and dinners in which he expressed his views on French colonialism, even having to flee to Brussels at one point. This became known as the Eucanther Affair. During an interview with Hess, Eucanther spoke about the French government and the French public, and the colonial domination of his country, published in Lo. Figaro newspaper, and the article spread the news of the affair. Eucanther was made fun of by the French for being a small and dark-skinned man, 158 centimeters tall, with a small head. Eucanther's accusations were that the freely asked and granted protectorate of Cambodia had become a complete French colonial administration, that Noradam was forced to give up his power at gunpoint in 1884, that he was treated terribly by a Frenchman named de Verneville who abused his power with his mistress, the Miroong, that the Noradam dynasty reigned for 3,000 years and has always cared for its people, and that the Cambodian had become to slave inside the whims of French. Administrators Eucanther demanded the removal of the U.M., who ran away before the enemy, in 1885, the Prime Minister, and Thiam, Secretary of the Council of Ministers, the latter two of which Eucanther accused of being the two main embezzlers of the country. His memorandum was sent to the President of the Council of Ministers, with a shorter one sent to the newspaper Le Matin and an even shorter one to Le Figaro. In the letter sent to Le Figaro, Eucanther said that there were two types of Frenchmen, those in Metropolitan France and those in the colonies, that the French knew nothing about the Cambodians and believe we are barbarians, that France wants to impose its civilization, but my family has ruled over the kingdom for thousands of years, that labor should not be a punishment for sins, that Buddhism made the king the father of the people and Cambodians form a united family, that we have our slaves, but your workers have the freedom to starve, you make an ostentatious display of items of destruction in universal exhibitions, and that when Noradam asked for French protection, he did not ask for administration or civilization. The French authorities ordered Sihanouk to cable his son to come home to Cambodia, and but for the fear of becoming arrested, he traveled to Thailand via Algeria, and after being banished by the French in 1900, he lived in exile in Bangkok from 1913 until his death in 19... Eucanther took the SMS Prince Heinrich on October 26, 1900, and stopped in Singapore. On September 27, 1901, Noradam invited him back to Cambodia, a request that was refused. In 1926, the Governor-General gave him a small pension. King Noradam was heartbroken by what had happened to Eucanther and his predecessor who traveled to France, Duong Chaker, and retired to his palace in Phnom Penh. 
Some conspiracies claim that he secretly fled to Brussels instead and died later on. Before he died in 1904, King Norodom appointed his son, Prince Eucanther, as heir apparent to the throne. But because of Eucanther's fallout with the French, the Governor-General de Mer threatened to dethrone him, and although bitter and disappointed with Sisawath, he made him heir to the throne. Family Prince Eucanther married four times, but finally settled with Princess Norada Malika, 1872-1951, who was his half-sister, and they had four sons and five daughters, of which notable children include Princess Pengpa Eucanther, 1892-1969, Princess Robangpas Eucanther, born 1893, Princess Pingping Eucanther, 1894-1966, who later became an important political activist, and Prince Heen Watchervangs, 1896-1969. Malika founded a private girls' school on December 11, 1911, at which her daughters were taught. 